Hi everybody, this is Julie. I'm here <clears throat> from the Scraps of My Life. I'm doing something I haven't never really done before, and that's to make a video of uh, a project that is def that is not actually scrapbooking. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> excuse me, I um, thought I would do a video. I thought, well, I've got to do this. So maybe this would help somebody else because, you know, when you get started on a project, you don't exactly know what all it's going to entail until you get in it and then you get in the middle of it and you think oh gosh how am I going to do this or how am I going to do that I do that all the time I, I do that all the time what I have here is I'm, I'm, I'm working on a couple of candy bouquets for my son's graduation party and uh, his colors for his school are green and gold and so instead of a gold gold I'm using more yellow as well as white and black um, but I've got to have a base uh, for my, and here's one of those things. You get in the middle of it and you realize it's not going to work. I have to have a base for my, uh, you know, stems to go into. Now, originally, I thought this would be a good idea with the floral uh, foam, but uh, I didn't have any that I thought I had, uh, so I was trying to improvise. So before I found this here, I had taken some... I guess it's like wood shavings. I'm going to have to put some in here anyway. I had taken it all out, thinking I wasn't going to use it. But I had put some wood shavings in here to use in place of the floral block there. But that was not working. So this is what it is. Because the stems would not go down into it. All they wanted to do was push it. <laughs> and it was bending my straws on my... Uh, on my uh, suckers and things, my candy. So I'm just putting actually enough in here to take up some space, some room, um, because I'm going to put these glass beads in here. I have two bags of them. I'm hoping that that will be enough. It may or may not be. And I'm trying to decide how, how much of this filling I want to put in here. Uh, so I've got a little bit in the bottom and I'm going to put some around the sides here because, like I said, I don't, I really don't believe that that's going to be enough of the um, beads, glass beads there to, to actually fill up. And yes, this is messy. Okay, yes, and I'm making a huge mess right now. The grass, the uh, shavings are behind me, but uh, the mess is everywhere. Okay. So I'm just, uh, I'm, normally now you would use glue to secure this flower. Um, I cannot think of the absolute perfect name of this, uh, but I call it floral, uh, a floral block. This is the one that absorbs the water. The foam type does not absorb water for your flowers. You know, you, you use this one with the live flowers usually. But I find that I like it much better because it's, it's very condensed and it holds things a lot nicer. Now I'm hoping that I don't have to end up using glue for this and take it all out. So I'm going to try this. And here are my, my glass beads and I'm going to set them away just on the outside for now just to give me some weight in here. Got a piece of uh, tool, tool there. Okay, just going to weight this down a little bit. That's all I want to do. So, I have prepared my container, hopefully, for my uh, <laughs> for my uh, candy bouquet. Now, what I'm using is I have, I have before, ahead of time, purchased some lollipops online. And some of them have the graduation theme hats, and they're the smiley faces. They are so cute. Okay. And so what I did was, with these, I um, took a die that I have, a Sissix die, and it's called a, some type of wildflower die. And uh, I cut these out of the black glittered paper, and I'm going to secure them underneath the lollipops here with some hot glue most likely since that's the quickest way. So they will be a part of my candy bouquet, those little guys. 
And then I also had purchased online some of the green, the colors. I mean, you can get all kind of colors of these. But I got the green and the yellow uh, mixed with the white of the uh, round lollipops, the flat ones. And I'm thinking I'm just going to tie the, the uh, bows around them. Actually, not in a bow. It's more like a uh, dangly, curly, curly bow, I guess is what you call it. And I actually have taken these, instead of sitting here trying to do each one of these, now, you may prefer, after I tell you the difficulty that it is to do this, you may prefer to, to curl your own ribbon. But I just cut them off of, the, of a bow uh, that was made to put on the package. I cut each piece, you know, like, like I cut this one off right here, and that gives me an individual piece like this. So I just took it and I centered it on my sucker, my lollipop, whatever you want to call it. Hold it out a little, like so, and I just simply tied it once. That's all I did, and it's a very simple, really kind of loose knot. That's that's all that that is, and then I turn the part in the front that is flat there, and then I reshape my curly ribbon, of course, because it gets out of shape when you're tying it. Got some of that stuff on there. And so I might need to take and curl this side a little more. But anyway, that's pretty much what I did with them. And it doesn't look so great by itself, but once it's put together, it's going to be really pretty. Now you can do them with a single like that, or you can do like I've done with the one I'm trying to find here. I don't see it. I did one that has the two colors on it, which is kind of pretty too. So there's the front of it. So that's with the two different colors on it. So, and I, and I had some bendy straws and I cut the bendy part off because that's useless unless you're just going to be able to stick that all the way down, which is quite a lot um, from the bottom here. Uh, because you, these will, these will, these are kind of heavy, top heavy, of course, because of the candy, and the straws are kind of flimsy. These are the more narrow straws, and these are bendy straws, and I just cut it off at the bendy part so that the straw itself that goes onto the candy um, is just straight. So it gives me some leadway. Um, so there's that. So set, you may want to save these for something. These are bendable. Uh, you can pull them out like that and these are you know and they'll be short so that will make great you know shorter things for you like if you wanted to do a variation of uh, height per se and that's probably what I will you oh what will I you will use these for it's very hard to get these straws over the plastic the wrappers on the bottoms of these suckers but I don't want to pull them off because um, you know it's important that they be there the wrappers must be on. So I just kind of try to twist it along the long along the same direction that the wrapper is wrapped on. Okay, and so then um, you know you can have a shorter variation of what you're doing here. So let's see. Let me kind of put this one in the front like so for now. I also before I get back to the candy, I also uh, I really like the idea of adding some, some silk flowers. Real flowers would be pretty as well, but, you know, they will wilt terribly quickly because you cannot wet this because of the, the candy. So this is a really beautiful uh, sunflower style, dahlia more so, uh, flower that I had. It has had a very extremely long stem on it. Here's the other part of the stem. I hope I'm not too close because I'm trying to so that you can see everything. Um, there, how about that? So uh, I cut it off about halfway, a little more. And don't throw away your extra stem. You may need that to put something on to add to your bouquet. So I have this one, and I'm going to get a second one. I think I'm, I think I'm going to be able. Um, one second. I think I'm going to be able to do two, but these flowers are very large. 
<clears throat> so in case I cannot, I do have these. And um, I will have to like pull them off individually. But I'm not really hoping, I, I'm really hoping I don't have to use that. So I'm going to put my first flower in here and I'm going to tilt, I'm going to turn it to the um, side just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put it as far back in the back as I can. So I'll show you that. As far back in the, and kind of, not in the middle, so go over about almost an inch. Go back as far as you can. Actually, I probably should turn this this direction. That way it'll give me more depth from back to front. So let me move this little guy. He's, in, he's actually in the way. So you always want to put your largest things in your arrangement first, and that's this being the reason. So put it um, not in the center, as I said, but like this one's like a half inch over since this is the narrower part. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm making a mistake by doing that. I think I am. So I'm going to turn it back to the flat side. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It's trial and error. So on the back side, you have a much wider width, which is the full width of the bar of the um, floral block. So I'm going to offset it over here. Let's just put it that way. I'm going to offset it. I'm going to put it as far back to the back as I can without breaking through the back of it. This is a really nice bendable flower. Then I'm going to take my other flower here, and I'm going to make it shorter. And... I've got to exactly figure out how short that's going to be. So using your wire cutters, <clears throat> cut through, um, I'm trying to see here, I don't think these are very good. These are for jewelry really. But using your wire cutters, just cut through it and then just bend it back and forth. You can do it with the cutters or you can do it with your hand. And it'll break right off like that and save your stem. You might need it, like I said, later. Let me cut off this um, tag here. I don't want that on there. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset that one. I'm going to put it a little uh, further in front of this one. Just a little bit. And I'm going to turn it to the other direction. Like so. All right. And there are my flowers. Now, what I've got to decide, I wanted to use these little um, whirly gigs in here, but I really don't think uh, that they're going to be any attribute to my arrangement. I don't think they're really going to add anything. So what I'm going to do is just do the lollipops start sticking them in and I'll show you. Um, so my my main lollipop is the first one that would go in and um, I think that might be a couple of these little guys and um, I don't think my flower is that far enough. There we go. Okay so you just stick these in I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I should just use one of these, I don't know. I'll start right here. Here we go, I like, I like the height of that, I think. It's kind of tall there. And when you're pushing your straw down into the foam, oh my goodness, um, this may not work like I hoped. Um, Uh, be sure to carefully do it because if you bend your straw like I did, it will it will bend over with the wind blowing it if you're outdoors or just the weight of it will eventually fall over. And then you start doing your suckers. Now these will be your largest items. So if you're not using what I'm using here, still this is going to be your largest um the largest things that you're going to put in here, okay? Let me just curl this ribbon just a tad more. So this end piece is kind of flimsy. There we go. And I might need to actually um, cut some of this one off because it's really long. So I'm not liking that so much. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if that works. So there I have a green taller one, and I'm going to do a shorter uh, yellow right here. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is to do a, you know, where it's pretty all the way around instead of just being, which is why I'm turning everything instead of leaving it, you know, just straight. So over here, let's see, I think this is the only green one I have. I'm going to balance it and do the same thing over here that I did on that side, only this time. I'm going to cut this one down because um, it has to go further into the because this flower is much um, shorter than the other flower. And since it's right beneath it, uh, it needs to be, you know, low enough so that, yeah, you can see it, but not, um, so that it's not in the way, actually. And I'm going to grab one of these ribbons and just flip it around the, there, like that, like so. So there is that one. And then another yellow one. Um, let's see. Instead of cutting this, I'm going to see if I can find one of the little short pieces. I almost threw them all away, I think, before I realized I could actually use them. Okay, so there's that one. Just twist it on like that. And then take your pliers or whatever you got to can get a hold of it with. I'm using my fingernails, but I don't think that's the best way. <clears throat> Let's see here. Here we go. Grab these pliers and just kind of hold it at the top there and extend it. Try not to tear up your straw. <laughs> it's a very uh, delicate process, more so than you would think. All right. Okay, you're tangled up, so stop that. All right. And then I'm just going to offset this one over here, like so. And these are kind of like fillers for now. These may or may not be well seen when I'm finished, but they have to be there. So right now, this is what I have. And like I said, I've got to hot glue this little guy's collar up here, of course. And I, I think I'll do a second little guy offset to him because I, I don't know I just don't like it with just one so um, let me see I'm going to cut this off a bit and I'm going to offset him to the side here kind of like if he's kneeling down in front of him or something there we go there we go and it's okay that <clears throat> it's okay that um you know, this is touching like this. It's okay that things are kind of looking bunched up because you're going to want it to, uh, because you you've got to have that fullness. And the more the more you have of the candy and your little ribbons and your you know your flowers, the more you have of that, the less filler you have to add, such as your netting and whatnot. These are also another group of of suckers that I got. I call them suckers. I should call them lollipops. I really don't know. These are the swirl type. They're just colorful is the reason I bought them. And it's that's just its normal stick there. So I'm just going to see if I can't just stick that down um, here in the front off here kind of like to the side. Let's see. I'm going to go way over. I'm gonna, actually going to go way over here. And I'm going to offset it to these two I think in the front. Like so. So that kind of gives it a another <clears throat> another um, what am I saying? Height, interest, I don't know. <clears throat> and then over here on this side, now these I put on straws, but they don't really need to be on straws. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that off. These these particular ones I don't want to be tall, so now that one's going to have to be really short, so I'm going to angle it at an angle, like so. I'm not sure if this is actually helpful to anyone. <laughs> it may or may not be. But these little things here, this is your part of your filler, so I just went ahead and to secure them, it's nice to just tie them around what you're working with, and that way you don't have to worry about putting them on uh, paper clips or 
anything like that and securing them before you stick them down into your foam. So if it's already on something, then that's that. You've done it and it doesn't have to be redone. I'm going to pull this straw for this one. Okay. Um, actually, I think I've got this. I should probably put this one here since it is the only one of this color. Okay, and then put this one in its place where it was because that's the same color as the one on the other side there. There we go. All right, so it's looking pretty good already. And then I'm going to come around here to the back. And this may be a good place to use one of these whirly gigs because um, it is in the back of the flowers. And it may or may not be able to turn, but it's the idea of it, I guess. Look at there. It did turn. So, yeah, if the wind's on it, it'll turn. So I have two. I have a green and a yellow one, and I have a multicolor one. So I might just, um, yeah, just stick one of this one up higher and that one lower. Just, just for looks. I mean, who does not like a whirly gig? I love whirly gigs. Love them, love them, love them. And then I'm going to do something with the back here. So I don't have, I don't think I'm going to use one of these. I don't know. Maybe I will. He's so cute. Um, I think I'll put him over here under the whirly gig. So let me see. I don't think I need quite so much straw. Trim some of that off and stick him. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing, right? It doesn't help if it, you can't see. Sorry about all that wiggling. And I'm going to stick him underneath right here in the corner to give him... There we go. Okay. So now I have, and this is the complete back side. Okay, so these are centered of the back with the flowers. They're centered with the flowers, so to speak. And now I can start working, um, working here. Okay. Alrighty, and I think that I'll pause here. I have some other candies. I'm going to set this camera down. I have some other candies that, um, let me see if this is all the way down or all the way up or what's going on with this camera. There we go. Much better, right? I have uh, some other candies I've got to do. Like I thought I might do some colored kisses um, and pair them together uh, with some cellophane. And that's where I'll need more straws, of course, to and some tape to secure them, or, I don't know, maybe I can get away with some hot glue, I don't know. Never done those before, so this is, that's a new one for me. But then I'm going, to, I'm going to continue to fill this in, but I've got to also, before I can finish it, I've also got to have my, um, my smaller candies. So I don't have those on hand, I do have to go shopping for those. And decide what I'm going to use. The colored Tootsie Rolls would be really pretty, I think, in this um, in this bouquet. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. So see, it's really simple. You just keep adding. And the thing you're wanting to do is just fill in. And like like in a floral arrangement, you're trying to hide the stems of the flowers. So that's your that's your that's your goal. <clears throat> so um, and then in the end. If you have a place that needs filling in, I have these loose things here. I've got these pieces I've cut from straws, of course. These are very easy to add your, uh, what is that called, your score tape, stick them together, or hot glue, and just stick them on a straw, whether it's a short piece or a long piece. Wrap them just a little. Oops, I dropped that one. Just showing you. Bend them where you want them. See? And it's an automatic little filler so you can fill in see how it fills in the, the empty spaces if you need it to so okay well I'll get back to you guys um, when I get my smaller candies and we'll continue to work on this little flower bouquet here <laughs> or candy bouquet alright and I'll see you later <laughs> 